Hey guys, it's Stu here from Travel Season. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the Going to the Sun Road in Glacier National Park, Montana in the United States. There is a lot to know to prepare for your trip to Glacier National Park. And one of the main things you need to make sure you are prepared for is getting your Going to the Sun Road ticketed entry vehicle reservation. In addition to the ticketed entry reservation system, I'm also going to talk about going to the Sun Road in general, the conditions of the road, some great stopping points along this road, and some other options if you're unable to get a vehicle reservation for going to the Sun Road when you're planning to visit Glacier. So Glacier National Park is located in Northwest Montana in the United States, very close to the Canadian border. There are a few major roads that take you through Glacier National Park. It's a very big park. Um, the Going to the Sun Road is probably the most popular scenic drive in Glacier National Park. This is the main road we're gonna be talking about in this video. It takes about two hours to drive this 50 mile section of the road. I also wanna quickly mention the other main roads in the park that do not require reservations at this time. The Many Glacier area does not require a reservation to drive that road that goes up into the Many Glacier area. You also do not need a reservation to drive down to the Two Medicine Lakes area that's on the southeast section of the park. And it looks like in 2022 they are starting to require vehicle reservations for going past the pole bridge area so if you're trying to go up into bowman lake and those other finger lakes up there on the northwest section of the park you might need a permit for that this year for your vehicle to go up there uh, so i will leave a link with that information under this video if you are hoping to go to the northwest section of the park Focusing on the Going to the Sun Road, vehicle reservations are required if you're traveling the Going to the Sun Road from May 27th through September 11th in the 2022 season. If you are here for the 2023 season, then check the link under this video with the Going to the Sun Road information right on the National Park Service website. That will tell you when you need a reservation and when you can visit recreation.gov to make those reservations. For the 2022 season, March 2nd, 2022 is your date to book your reservation for your vehicle ticketed entry for going to the Sun Road. I have a link for recreation.gov's going to the Sun Road ticketed entry under this video if you want to check that out. We visited this park in 2021. The pilot system for vehicle reservations um, was for seven days when we booked our reservation. Now it looks like for the 2022 season, the going to the Sun Road vehicle reservations are only good for three days. So if you're planning on spending two weeks in the park, you are going to have to get ticketed reservations for a few of those dates, like every three days, you're gonna have to make another vehicle reservation if you plan on using going to the Sun Road every day you're in the park. The going to the Sun Road is open at lower elevations year round, but the section up near Logan Pass, that's the higher elevation section of the road, is closed most of the year actually uh, due to snow and weather. Uh, the Logan Pass section usually opens up by early July, but that is dependent on the snowfall and how the plowing has been going uh, in the springtime. So early July to mid-October, the full going to the Sun Road is typically open. Again, you should check current conditions in the park before you take my word for it because there could be something else going on. So make sure you check the current conditions for the park before your visit. There are some restrictions for driving on the Going to the Sun Road. You cannot have a vehicle longer than 21 feet or wider than 8 feet. A couple other things to think about is there is nowhere to get fuel inside the National Park. There are gas stations in West Glacier and the southwest section of the park. There also are gas stations in the St. Mary area just outside the eastern section of the park. Once you get your vehicle reservation, you can either print it out uh, or you might be able to save it on your phone. Just read those instructions before going to the park so that you have the proper 
ticket that you need to enter. All you have to do is take your ticketed entry. I printed mine out and I stopped at the entrance station and you hand it to the ranger in the entrance station and they will just uh, scan it and then they'll hit, hand it back to you and you are good to drive that day. You do need to keep that pass with you every time you're driving through. So I recommend just keeping it in your vehicle so it's always there and you don't forget it anywhere. So to enter Glacier National Park, on the going to the sun road you're going to need your vehicle reservation and then you also need your park pass the vehicle reservations cost two dollars that's just the two dollar reservation fee on the recreation.gov website so it's very inexpensive to get the reservation so there's a primary booking window and a secondary booking window for this going to the sun road ticketed entry your primary booking window starts at 8 a.m mountain time Basically, the tickets are released 120 days in advance. So put your first date of your time in Glacier National Park when you plan on using going to the Sun Road, count back 120 days, and that day at 8 a.m. is when you need to make your reservation to get your ticketed entry if you want to make this primary booking window. The secondary booking window has an additional batch of tickets that are released one day in advance at 8 a.m. Mountain Time. So if you are trying to get tickets for July 10th, 2022 on July 9th, 2022 at 8 a.m. Mountain Time, another batch of tickets will become available. So if you miss that primary booking window 120 days in advance, you get another chance to get this ticketed entry reservation the day before you want to access the going to the sun road. This ticketed entry is only required from 6 a.m. until 5 p.m. So if you, for some reason, cannot get these reservations and you still would like to see the going to the sun road, you can get through the going to the sun road entrance station before 6 a.m. without that ticketed entry for your vehicle. It's only from 6 a.m. till 5 p.m. In addition, if you are unable to get the going to the sun road ticketed entry, or if you're just afraid to drive on these roads, they are very narrow and winding and there are cliffs on the sides of the road. I was a little nervous driving on here. Uh, if you are nervous about that and you don't want to drive, but you still want to go on the road, you can try getting a shuttle. There is a shuttle that goes through Glacier National Park. In 2021, they required reservations as well. Uh, you can get those reservations by following the link for shuttles in the description under this video, or you could book a red bus tour. We did a red bus tour one day on our trip to Glacier National Park, and that was a pretty unique experience. They are these old Ford vans, I guess you could say, uh, that have an open top. So at numerous viewpoints along going to the Sun Road, the bus will pull over and they let people be like little prairie dogs and they can stand up when the vehicle stopped and take photos out of the top of the vehicle. So you get a chance to see a lot of the park that way as well if you don't want to drive on the going to the Sun Road. The Red Bus Tours, I have a link for that in the description under this video, and I also have a video coming out soon about the Red Bus Tours. Now let's dive into some of the great viewpoints along the Going to the Sun Road. My favorite stop in Going to the Sun Road is Logan Pass. This is one of my favorite spots in Glacier National Park. This is the highest elevation point along Going to the Sun Road. It's a gorgeous, open alpine meadow type of environment. There are waterfalls along the road up here. Uh, there are waterfalls along the hiking trails, just from like snow melt. If you would like to see a glacier in Glacier National Park, but you don't want to hike 10 to 20 miles to get to a glacier, you can see a glacier from going to the Sun Road. This is closer to the St. Mary area. It's on the eastern-ish side of the park. You can see the Jackson Glacier right from the road. You can pull over and there's a viewpoint of the glacier off in the distance. Another beautiful viewpoint is the Wild Goose Island viewpoint. This is along St. Mary Lake. There's this tiny little island in the lake and you have a beautiful view of that. That was really cool to see around sunset time. The clouds in the west are just illuminated with different colors and light from the sun setting.
There are a handful of hikes you can do from the Going to the Sun Road. If you pull over at a hiking trailhead, there are a lot of different hikes here. I have a video with 10 great things to do in Glacier National Park if you want more information on some great hikes and other things to do in the park. You also have a great chance for seeing wildlife while driving on going to the Sun Road. We saw grizzly bear, black bear, black bear cubs along the road. You also can see a lot of different birds. You might be able to see some bighorn sheep and some mountain goats. All right guys, that basically wraps up this video about taking the going to the sun road in Glacier National Park. Remember the vehicle reservations can start to be booked on March 2nd, 2022. If you miss that primary booking window 120 days in advance of your travels, then you can try for the secondary booking window one day before you plan on using the going to the sun road. If you have any questions for me about things to do in Glacier National Park or about traveling the Going to the Sun Road, then just leave a comment under this video and I will answer it to the best of my knowledge. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of our fun travel adventures and happy travels. Bye bye.